Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 28 of the Foster Child Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And in this part, we're just continuing to work on the toddler skills as well as Shahir's child skills and get him to finish his aspirations. He still needs his A. He did not, he's home from school. He did not get his A. I did have Jasmine Holiday come over. So he was supposed to, yeah, he got his needing less boost. So he has that. And I have him still working on this uh, artistic prodigy aspiration because he he needs an A to finish his his whiz kid, and the whiz kid is the one that he needs to do. Plus, I find some of the these are easier to do as children, anyways, especially conflict resolution. I find that's a lot easier to do as a child. The rest they can do as teens, but also you know. It's easy enough to work on them as kids, and then they get to teens, and they're gone really quickly. <laughs> they pretty much get everything done. I can't remember what his... I did actually roll all of his traits and his... Well, actually, yeah, so I'm not going to say. I was trying to think whether uh, it was something that would be easier for him to be a teen and work on that. I find a lot of them, it's quite easy to get through two of them pretty easily. So we are working on Sean right now. He needed attention. Did he get enough? He, he still needs attention. So Nicholas is trying to like help him climb here and hoping that that will help him with his movement and with his, I do find actually when they just do it on their own, it's helpful. Like they do quite well. I can't say it's really bumping up his attention very much. So I'm thinking maybe after we do this with him, we'll just talk to him and then hopefully that will help or maybe teach him to read or teach him his, let's take a look at where he is in terms of so his, you know, maybe teach him to talk, read. I didn't mean read. <laughs> He's a toddler. I meant teach him to talk or work on the thinking skill with them. So that was what I was sort of thinking. I think instead of continuing to do this, we're going to swap it out. And I don't find that it's actually helping. It is helping him, but I think I'd rather just have him do it on his own. So we're going to have Nicholas do some flashcards. And we can't teach. He needs level two. Okay. So maybe just let... Sean babble to you because that you probably can teach to talk that's what you can do but I'm just gonna have him babble because that'll also get him up in terms of his communication to level two and then once he's level two we can just do the and that will hopefully help him with his his attention which is lacking right now yeah see it's quite bad but then he also needs to go potty so maybe he should go potty <laughs> Get some potty help that will help you with your just help. Let's have Nicholas concentrate on little, little Sean. That's what we'll do. I don't know what babbling. Okay, so now that you have had her doing some cloud gazing, so we're going to sell to art gallery that one. And the street gallery isn't fixed. This is a masterpiece, so we're going to put it away. And then this was started by one of the other sims i'm pretty sure of course it's gone into this so we're gonna have you now do a abstract large i've been noticing that my paintings aren't making as much money as i seem to remember them doing before oh scarlet is level three of communication but i did notice that when lacy came home she was promoted so she can now hire an agent from the phone so i'm gonna have her do that main reason I have her in this career was one to get the boost to the paintings but also once they do max the career it's only uh, two days a week so it seems like a reasonable career to be in if you know you're going to be around kids and stuff a lot but hopefully you know it's not really it's not her focus at all to be in this career it's just sort of a little sideline that we're doing so that is helping him with his potty so we'll leave them and once you're finished that we're going to work on the flashcards now because we can teach animals because he has reached level two let me go over and check on scarlet she is angry she needs attention so why don't you babble talk about toys you don't need to babble because you're level three so you can actually talk you don't need to have a you'll get your attention you'll get it sweetie you can talk about favorite color and then you know what you have to go potty so why don't we have you're talking to Kara, so ask Kara to to help you with the potty, and that should help you with your your um, attention. Also, I would hope. 
And Shahir, what are you up to? Did you manage to get... I kind of... It didn't... Oh, it did, finally. Because the animal one that I had him on before we came in... It seemed to not register. So now he needs to play an instrument. But before he plays an instrument, I'm actually going to have him do his homework. And then do his extra credit work. And then I'm also thinking I'm going to get him... Uh, uh, this was Kara Sue's. <laughs> we'll put that in her inventory because she's not a kid anymore. I'm gonna get him an, a, a project because that will help him get a pro, you know get his grades boosted. Even if they don't send them home, I've noticed that they still get the uh, grade benefits for having them. But of course, I need to get one that's for children. So that one will help for mental and logic. And since he's already maxed his mental, it would help him with his logic. Uh, that's teens, children. That's mental so they're all we'll do this one. Oh, but it won't help him i think i'm gonna do the one that's a logic because that will hopefully help him with his logic i don't know if it would help him with his mental because it says specifically lot rocket science and he doesn't need creativity he's maxed that if i remember correctly so we're gonna have him do his homework and i see keep seeing food on the ground scarlet did you not finish are you hungry you kind of really just need attention don't you are you going potty looks like you are you going potty? Go on. I do find it when you're trying to figure out what Sims are doing, what the fact that, you know, the next... Oh, Lacey's hired an agent. Good, good, good. So now that and you're doing your painting, that's good too. Probably should be getting one more of those. Oh, she did a masterpiece. Let's see how much it's worth. That'll give us a realism. We'll do a large one. Yeah, 6,998. It's, that's quite good. I mean, I just, I've seen them worth 10,000 when they're masterpieces. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit. <laughs> it could be worth more. I'm going to breed the frogs. Because they don't actually have tons of money. Because we, we've we spent it. But now any money they earn, they essentially, other than bills, they get to, and, and making household improvements, they get to keep. Versus in the past, we were paying off the house. And now the house is completely paid off. And so they don't. And that's just something that I have done. That's not actually part of the foster child challenge. But I usually start my sims with no money. So starting them with the house was kind of like, okay. And then they let, I let them keep their starting money. I used it to pay off part of the house to put a payment against the house. But yeah, that was still. So I made them pay off their house. But I did let them keep their actual starting money. <laughs> I wasn't that mean. <laughs> but they have now paid off the house with some interest. I even charge them interest. Because <laughs> that's just what I do. So I'm just going through and breeding them. And I think I'll sell some of these frogs. Because we have so many here. And let me go into Oliver's. And I'm actually going to sell them in uh, Nicholas's inventory. Because... Lacey earns money whenever she sells the paintings because of the fact that she uh, she does the selling because she gets the 25% markup, but that means it only goes towards her fortune aspiration. When we sell it at the store, we do have a store, then everybody gets the uh, credit for it, and in the past when we sold it on the street gallery, everybody got it, but since the street gallery is broken, that doesn't really help. So are you still working with... No, where did he go? Where is he? He's tired. He doesn't need, he needs a bit to eat. Is there any food going? I'll get you some food because you need some food. Your attention is still not very good. So we're going to put these pancakes that are impeccable out and you can come. Yeah, you're wandering around. Come grab yourself a serving. Scarlet, how are you doing? You need still some attention. You know what? Why don't, why doesn't Nicholas come over here and teach you? Uh, flashcards why don't you teach some basic needs and hopefully that will help you a little bit with your attention yeah this is why I don't want to have too many toddlers especially of course as we so he's angry from being tired but he's also hungry so we're going to need to put that there see I, the reason I I don't know if I can't remember if I mentioned it. I added the TV that was in the gym over here because I find that they come in here a lot. I see there's a mushroom on the floor that I had had Scarlet eat. <laughs> so there it is. So I rearranged this a little bit. The there were pictures that were blown up in there. Now you can't see them because it's uh, they're on this wall. If I can go through, so I put them there and I shrunk them down and I put the TV. Because I didn't want to spend any money, so I didn't didn't spend money. I just rearranged stuff that was already in the house. And you can come watch this. That's why I had someone put it on. And then can you babble and talk? 
Can you babble? No, we're not biting, because that is not productive at all. Because you know what? You need attention, and you need some sleep, and you're hungry. So all those things are going to be much better served by just actually acting on them. So we're going to do some more. Uh, <laughs> he really wants to bite. Plus, it's just going to slow you down from eating and getting to bed. So Lacey did her masterpiece. I'm assuming she didn't do a second masterpiece. What's this one? No, it's excellent. 2,438. So we're going to sell to an art gallery. And you are exhausted. And you are also tired. So we're going to have Nicholas read you to sleep once you're finished with what you're doing so that you can go to sleep and then why don't we have Lacey come I don't know if we should do that who is she talking to no that's not who she's talking to there's our money from the painting so Beatrice is the one who's over here how are you doing are you almost finished eating oh I know what I want him to do I want him to do his extra credit work because he needs to work on his getting this up so that he comes home with an A because he needs that and then he can take a day off school and then work on the rest of his aspirations and his traits afterwards so that's kind of what I'm working for so then you can come out here and start working carefully which will also help you with your responsibility so are you almost done eating Sean how is your hunger and your attention is just, oh, it's just not very good I keep having them work on stuff and does, does she need to talk to you can you... Yeah, no, those will work really well. Calm down. I don't know if that's going to work very well. I'm not going to do it because I'm thinking it's not going to be very good. So you're going to come and read him to sleep. Really, other than they can help a little bit, they're just kind of here too. <laughs> so are you finished eating? You know, I think you're finished eating. You're not that hungry anymore and you're not really needing to watch TV. I need to go to bed, sweetie pie, because you are angry, angry, angry because you're so tired and no wonder. Look at the time. Look at the time. So you're going to go to bed. Hopefully you'll get that story read to you. And I'm just going to throw this away because, you know, it's not a full serving anyways. And hopefully that will help you with your attention. Oh, look, he's level three of communication. Where are his skills? So he's three of communication, three of movement, high twos of potty, and then the thinking is right down there. But that's all right. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. It'll come. And I wanted him to work on, I wanted Nicholas to work on his, where's a bookcase? This is a bookcase? It is. So I don't know what, what vampire tombs we have in here. We have one, and that's the one he needs to, uh, um, I don't know if he's done that. He's already, you know, he hasn't read any books. So that's the one he needs to finish the, the skill. And you know what he has? He doesn't have a lot of points, but... I'm going to take a look here. Did he? I have been finding that if you have the speed reader, it actually does get them through them quicker. So I'm going to have that. But did he ever get the night owl? I would have done that first if I'd been thinking about it. So let's go back in here. Traits. Well, he does have them. Oh, it mustn't be. It's, it's the wrong time. <laughs> it's too early past much past the night and not early enough for the morning that's why so you got in your story rad i hope you go to sleep unlike when you know i tried this before someone got up after they were put to read to sleep okay so they're all all the toddlers are sleeping shahir is doing his homework and that helps him with his logic skill and then he's going to go out and work outside and Macy, Lacey, not Macy, Lacey, you know what, you should do some right, you know what, come help Shahir, or is he done? Yeah, forget about, where is your logic, speaking of which, because it would help you with your logic, so if you come and help her, him with his project, it'll help you with your logic skill, which if we ever go to Salva Dorada, can be helpful to have a logic skill. So we are going to have her come here. Oh, she, he's leveled up. 
I don't know that that counted as a book because, yeah, because he probably had gone too far through it. So we are going to read level two. Oh, it's not in there anymore. Can't do it anymore. How are you in terms of your parenting skill? You are one. So you know what you should do? You should read the parenting book. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a lag there. So you're going to read that, and then we may as well put you over onto the same one, the knowledge aspiration, for that reading to count. And he, she is already level three of the logic skill. Okay, I know I told you to come here, and I didn't actually stand here and wait for Shahir. So you're going to come assist with the project to help you with your skill. And Karasu, you, you know, you kind of just need to, why don't you come over here and practice uh, a comedy routine or perform whichever it was I can't remember what I picked but something to do with comedy to work on that so that we can at least get this part of your aspiration done and then you know we're done because you can't do many more anything else so they're all working on their own thing Nicholas is working on learning the vampire lore because that's one where if you uh I was trying to say, I don't know if I quite finished this. If you max your vampire lore, you can make the vampire cure. It does cost 2,500 to make it. And you do need 10 plasma fruit, so we'll have to plant that. 10 garlic, which we have already planted. And 10 wolfsbane. And then you can sell that on the, the yard sale table, because the yard sale table is not broken. Only the street gallery, they managed to fix the yard sale table with the pre- jungle adventures patch so and by the time this part comes out who knows we've maybe had a patch and maybe the street gallery is fixed by that point i don't know but at the point of recording it's not been fixed <laughs> so that's all i can say so let me see let me look here purchase now he's still on van but that's how i look i look and see by what one you can uh what you can buy that the one you're currently on that's the one you should be reading because it unlocks it as you skill up but they'll get bored if it's too advanced or if it's too low for them so oh i see we have a little one who is awake and he's very very hungry ah oh, better pause 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 because he needs some food in his inventory let me see who has been gardening and has anything that he may like to eat that's not overly expensive either. <laughs> oh, mushrooms. Those are a nice cheap thing that helps fill them up. So, because unfortunately, it's not, it doesn't take one. It takes a pile of them. Like, But in real life, if you were, you were to eat an apple, it would, you know, it wouldn't necessarily fill you completely when you're starving, but it would do more than I noticed that the, the fruits and vegetables do in the game. But it still helps. It helps pass and get them over. Don't, don't do that. Just eat your mushroom, like I said. Just eat it. Dump it on the ground like always happens. Eat another one. Oh, and it looks like I think we were we able to read him. I wasn't paying enough attention whether that actually succeeded. Okay, so now it's in the yellow. So that's okay. And is there any food out or do we need to put some out? We do. So he couldn't really get any food anyway. So I don't know what he was thinking because there was nothing he could get. So now you can come grab a serving. Yeah, he's very hungry. I missed that, but I knew he was because he was angry red. So that was definitely going to be the case that that was going to happen. Oh, look, he's now got the plasma fruit wolfsbane and, wolfsbane and 6M mosquito trap seeds. I've heard that, and I don't know for sure if it's true, but I've heard that the 6M mosquito trap seeds, if you have them in your garden, I think they're supposed to help reduce the amount of bugs, but I've never paid enough attention to know if that actually is the case. So I don't know <laughs> if that does happen. So what are you doing? You're, you were doing that. So you're going to come here and watch some Kids Network. Not that you're really watching it. And then you're going to come give Oliver some attention. So she has a pretty good uh, relationship with Oliver. I guess she did look after him a lot when he was a baby because I was trying to work on her parenting skill. And did that work? Did, like, did she get very far? She didn't really. I can't imagine we don't have a club boost for that. So I don't really know why the parenting isn't growing yeah it is there 
Yeah, that's a little strange, I have to say. Anyways, because they're quite low, and I've seen it go, and especially because they have the they have the toddler top notch toddler because they were toddlers. So did you finish your project? School starts, and it didn't seem to move him up at all. Interesting. And are you cleaning up? You're cleaning out spoiled food. Good boy. You know what? I'll let you do that. I'll look Beatrice's level three of the parenting skill. The books only help like at the lower levels. I even I don't even know why they sell the top level book because it does nothing for your skill. And I remember that being noted in Parenthood when they were talking about it that you needed to learn it and do it. But if that's the case, don't even bother with the book. They just I had a sim reading the book just to like try and max out the final bit and it didn't work. <laughs> and they just like nothing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, was it too advanced? No. It just doesn't work. Or it didn't for me, at least, I should say. So you don't actually need to watch that. You're probably going to be... So how are you? You need to go potty. So why don't you get potty help from Kara, since she's right there with you. And how are you go to work soon? Yes, you do. Two hours. So we're going to come have you come here. And <laughs> look at him. He's being so good and cleaning up. He was my very not responsible when he aged up. He had made messes and stuff because we were so busy. <laughs> and we had him in the house. Poor little guy. And he's not even maxed his, his responsibility yet. But he's doing very well. Very well. So we're going to come here. And we are going to do a rally the troops. And we're going to have him order uh, the plants which is under vampire secrets yes so we need plasma fruit I'm gonna order a couple of trees or maybe I'll order three because they're not that fast at growing and I'm going to order uh, just one of the 6am I probably only needed to order two because I forgot you get two with each one so I should have got two and I usually get one <laughs> but oh well we got lots of plasma fruit trees I'm not sure that I'm gonna use them all just because yeah it's a lot of evolving to do, I'd have to say. And he doesn't work yet, so they're kind of off. So that's one, you know, in terms of their schedules, they're not, like, on top of each other because she works different days. And so that's kind of a good thing. It keeps bouncing around on me. So there we go. So we've got plasma fruit trees, six of them. And hopefully the butler will plant them. I don't know whether he will. Was it? Oh, but you know what? I realize this part has gone on very long. So I'm going to leave it here. And uh, we made, hopefully, I think we made a bit of progress with the toddlers. Shahir worked on hopefully getting an A in school. Speaking of which, let's have them study hard. But uh, that is going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.